Welcome to part B. First of all, let's look at our material list. What do we have? We have body side plates, two of them. That's part number one. Part number two, we have the cable wheel, two of them made out of car steel. This is made out of mild steel. Three, bearing bush, graphite, impregnated. That's to allow for smoother rotation, reduce friction when you use anything rotating. You need to install a bush or, or a bearing. The bush is there to help you to reduce the friction, which acts as a bearing. Four, pivot bolt. There's three of them. Uh, nickel steel. And then we have M22 nut, part number five. There's six of them, high tensile steel. And the suspending bracket, which is cast steel. Okay, on the left hand side, there's a picture that shows you more detail. Here's our pulleys one, two, one, two, three, and four, five, six nuts at the back. And these are three, four, uh, three of our pivot bolts. This is our suspending bracket. And uh, that's our whole arrangement there is seen. But however, your question will look like this. Most likely without a, an example what it looks like in 3D. You can see there's our AA section. So they want to, us to assemble it, all these parts onto this plate. And look at section AA. We can already see that the front part will be cut away. What we will see here is one object there and one object there. Right. So the first things first, let's start with our parts and our diameters. Let's start with part number one. We're having similar diameters, 22.5, 22.5, and that is 22.5 as well. That's our first diameter there, and the only one in the first part. Second part, we have a hole there of 38 millimeter diameter so we're looking for 22.5 and 38 millimeter diameter let's go to part number three we've got a 38 millimeter diameter in other words now we need to look at position and if you need to find out if it really fits in there the length there is 59 or you can call it height if we look at the length here it is also 59 so the bush here will fit into the diameter. However, we only assemble side views. So this part of the section there will receive the bush fitting in there straight in that point. And this part will also be sectioned at the bottom because it's going to be a full section. So this will part will fit in there in there. However, if we assemble these two together we can clearly see that we've got two pulleys according to the the list that we've been given there's two of these so the one pulley will fit in there and the other pulley will fit in there but at the moment our inner diameter here is 30 millimeters so what we, what do we have we've got 38 and 38 fitting in on that length and now we are left with a diameter of 30 and 22.5. The 38 has already been given a match. So let's go on to part number 4. Part number 4 shows us a diameter of 30. Which is the outside diameter, which is the largest one. If we go straight across, we can see it's the center part. The length there is 60. The inside that we have there now is 30. So it's obvious that that 59 millimeter that we have there, and these two already fitting in one another, that this part will fit exactly in there. But 0 0.5 millimeters will be sticking out on the side because that's 60 and that's 59 and 0 0.5 there. So we will be having three things. We're having this part fitting in that part. We have this two parts, one, two, fitting in this part. And then now let's look at the other diameter, 
let's go further there we have an m22 we can see that that diameter there matches up with this diameter the 0 0.5 is just there for clearance in some cases the diameters will be given the same in fact in most cases but in this case 0 0.5 is extra there and 22 is basically the same as that so this will fit through there there's three of these you'll see it in the parts list so you have one two three holes so we will be having this part fitting into that part this one and that one and then obviously that whole contraption will be fitting on there so you've got two of these three fitting together on there and then another one of it that will give you all the parts and then th this part here will go through there where we can see that that diameter is 30 so we're looking for another 30 di uh, millimeters diameter we also can see that the nut there is 22 which will be able to turn onto these sides and if you go back we have three of these so we will be having six nuts one on this side and one on that side so we're currently looking at this part sitting idly there at the bottom we already have two of these pulleys there but let's look at this arrangement there we've got 30 millimeters inside diameter in other words in the length there you can see it's 60 so that is 60 this exactly will fit in there 30 30 and then 60 60 60 60 will fit together so this whole arrangement of these two will be sitting there at the bottom with two of these plates on both sides so you have plate number one and plate number two and your pulley will sit there which is that one with all these through it and then at the bottom you'll have this part going through the two plates with that sitting there in the center okay so what did we do let's go back we first looked at the diameter here we couldn't find it in this one we found a new diameter of 38 we carried on with 38 and 22,5 and we found out there's a 38 so by looking at this 38 we know it can fit into there but let's look at the width that's 59 and 59 so that's a perfect match let's go to part number four we could see that we're having a 30 there and this one is a 30 now that's a new diameter so this would fit in there and you can see that 60 and 59 so you would have so this whole contraption will fit in there in there based on the number in the parts list we know we've got two pulleys we've got two bushes we've got three of these so we already have two of these fitting in there and the third one will be sitting there we saw that there's 30 millimeters left to be able to fit in on here so it's obviously that this one must be 30 millimeters to fit in the length is 60 and the length is 60 so they fit onto one another fit nicely in there with the two plates on the side and the nuts will definitely fit on on both sides of this uh, pivot bolt so we have one two three and on the other side we have another three which is six let's go to the section drawing that is shown on the inventor what you would normally do is you would section the drawing give only the sections answer as I will show you in inventor all this will have to be done on your drawing board I'm just using inventor just to show it for illustration purposes okay what we're having here is we've got two side plates we've got two of these pulleys here and we've got one two three according to the material list of these pivot bolts we've got two of these bushes and then we've got one two three four five six of these nuts and there we have the suspending bracket we're cutting there through the center over the nut and you can see that the pulley at the back the whole system here at the back is left intact so we're having that system intact there and we have this part right in the middle cut through the center okay we're cutting through the two nuts we're cutting through the solid pin there with the two holes on the side which it's not totally solid and then we're having our little bracket here at the bottom that's cut through 
Okay, so when you're going to answer the question, you're going to need to show the section being drawn through the center. So this is the section for the plate that is cut through the solid material and then it passes through other material and, and it stops there. So having that piece and that part there, one and two, and then obviously the bolt is just cut through the center there, the, uh, that uh, bolt there. And then you have your nuts. Your bracket is cut right through the center. And then you, your pulley stays untouched there. And these parts are totally untouched. Now this is what it looks like. Now to complete the drawing, you also need a parts list. Let's put down a parts list. With your drawing board, you're going to need to put down a parts list. Um, let me go here to table, click. And I'm choosing a parts list there. I'm putting it right there. And this is my parts list. It shows parts one to six. These are the, the names of the parts. And you need to put some ballooning. These small balloons you're gonna need to draw to each part once you're done with your drawing. Okay, it's part number one. Let's go look at part number two. It's part number two. Let's look at part number three. It's four. I'm gonna make some space there for three. The bearing bush is on the inside of the pulley it's right on the inside we cannot see it now but it's on the inside and we can't select it that is part number three this is actually just for parts being shown okay so we've got one two three should be there but we cannot actually draw it unless we've cut through that point there to show the bush on the inside the nut Number six. And these are all the parts. So well, this is what you will have on your drawing board. If you have to answer a question like this, you will not draw this up. This is just to show you what the section where you're cutting through the section. You will draw it up like this. This will be your final answer with these balloon markers and obviously your table of contents here showing each and every uh, point where you have your, 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 your parts. Number one, you have the body side plates. Number two, you will have the cable wheel. Number three, which is on the inside of this pulley, you have your bearing bush to allow for smooth rotation, reduce friction. Number four, you have your pivot bolt, seen there. Number five, you have your M22 nut. Number six, you have your suspending loop or your load holding bracket. Edit, edit. Okay, thank you very much. So, you will not draw this, the front, you will only draw the sides connected into one another based on the diameters. And all these parts is diameters that fits into one another.